So I've just installed a new SSD into this 2009 MacBook Pro. Unsurprisingly, it's not booting because there's no operating system on the disk. However, this is the original drive with the original operating system. It's 2009 Mac Book Pro. So we have Firewire 800, if you can see that. How exciting. So let's plug that fella in. Okay, so we need to reboot the Mac and hold down Option. Let's just turn it off. Turn it on again. Hold down Option. And hopefully it will give us the option to boot back to the original operating system which is on that hard drive there. And yeah, you can see there, Macintosh HD, let's select that one. So it's now booting from this external drive via Firewire 800. And I'll just let it finish the boot cycle just to ensure it does actually boot to something useful. Uh, because once it's booted back to the operating system, I can download the operating system and then kick off the installation and install the operating system, the new, a fresh operating system onto the SSD that's now inside the MacBook Pro. And yes, speed is one issue uh, or one reason I'm upgrading to SSD because hard drives were great in the 70s, but in the 21st century. The disk you inserted was not readable by this computer. Well, that's obviously because it's not formatted. It's an unformatted SSD. But hey ho, at least it means it's found it. I don't know. Let's remember the session from before I actually closed the damn thing, um, which was all rather weird. But I'll ignore that for the moment. And actually, if I go to disk utility, I'll be able to check that it can see the SSD in there. So again, it's all running off of that at the moment. And yeah, there we go. One terabyte, crucial, blah, blah, blah. So I'll be able to uh, get a new operating system installed onto that. And then this machine, despite being, what, 2009, almost seven years old, will likely fly with an SSD. Great stuff.